If you're still using Tela in 2025, let me tell you, you are missing out. In this video, we're going to explore the two best alternatives to create beautiful videos, Barumi and Screen Studio. The two tools have fairly different workflows. Creating a video in Barumi starts within the scripting tool. Here you can draft the structure of your video, which could be a word by word script of your video or even just a bullet point list of the things you're going to say. As you can see, the video is divided into scenes. Then we are ready for the recording stage. Here we can select our camera, microphone and screen and then we can record each scene individually by clicking on the record button. So let's record a scene together. Here I'm going to select record and this opens up Rumi's powerful recorder. Here I can see at a glance the script of my scene so I never get lost and when I'm satisfied I can click stop or if I'm not satisfied I can always retry as many times as I want. When I'm satisfied with my video, I can click stop. This opens up a preview of our recording so that we can quickly check if everything was correct. If we are satisfied, we can click save or we can record another take. Recording your videos in Barumi takes a fraction of the time because the recording process is divided into small manageable chunks. Recording a video in Screen Studio is also fairly easy. You can select your camera, microphone and then you can select which part of the screen you want to record in this case let's select this area and then you can click start recording after a while the recording will start and then you can do whatever you want to record as you can see one big difference of screen studio compared to barumi and tela is that it's not possible to record smaller chunks in a video once we finish recording all our scenes we are ready for the editing stage so we can continue to editing and here we are inside Barumi's powerful built-in video editor. Here we can do a number of things. First of all, we can easily trim the clips with the traditional timeline approach that you find in most video editors, but you can also use the powerful transcript-based editing. As you can see, if you select something in the transcript, it also gets selected in the timeline. So for example, if I want to delete this part, I can just select it here and then press delete. And this can save so much time when doing rough cuts. Moreover, I can customize the layout of all our scenes by just dragging them around or by selecting one of the many pre-built layouts. Now, the interesting thing is that Barumi automatically animates the transitions between the different layouts so that they always look great. Moreover, you can also adjust your audio levels and add noise cancelling so that even if you are in a noise environment, your videos will sound great. When it comes to editing, Screen Studio is known for its cinematic zoom-in effects. When it comes to editing, you can trim your clips and do basic cuts using a traditional timeline-based editing approach. Now, this works well for short videos, but can quickly become very slow for longer videos in which transcript-based editing can really save a lot of time. You can also customize the background of your video to better align with your brand, and you can also add captions, add some noise cancelling and some effects. In particular, in the latest versions of Screen Studio, you have also some limited capability when it comes to customizing the layout of your clips. For example, you could put a webcam in full screen and then switch to the screen so that the video is a bit more interesting, although it's not as powerful and as customizable as, for example, Barumi. When you're satisfied, you can easily export your video and publish it to your platform of choice. Exporting your video is also fairly easy in Screen Studio. You can just export it as a video by clicking export. Or if you are a subscription customer, you can also have access to shareable links, which are similar to Looms and Tela's sharing feature, which is very handy. When it comes to pricing, Broomy comes as a one-time purchase currently at $59 for a lifetime license, whereas Screen Studio either comes at $229 as a one-time payment with only one year of updates or as a subscription, which when paid yearly, it's about $9 per month. So in general, when should you use each? Well, choose Barumi if you're creating longer form content like tutorials, video courses, where the ability to record videos in chunks can really save a lot of time. And the ability to use advanced layouts can also help you keep the video more interesting and engaging. Whereas Screen Studio could be a very good fit for product demos, very short screenshots and that sort of thing. 